Hello and welcome to another episode of eSchool Talks. After skipping last week's video because of some technical issues, we are continuing back with our regular recordings. Well, I hope so. In this episode, we don't have any particular topic, but I want to share with you a video of my friend Maggie from Puron. And by the way, I'm going to link it down in the description. Uh, so he took apart my NAMI Burnery battery to upgrade uh, to a smart BMS. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But uh, I just want to go back to our last week's video and why we skipped it. So uh, you can see here behind me our new studio. And actually last week my friend Chris came over to record a video with me about NAMI electric scooter problems, but unfortunately that video actually didn't end up pretty well. So uh, I just couldn't publish it. Uh, Chris had already his holidays booked, so he went on his holidays and he's supposed to be back next week and uh, he'll come over and we'll try and make a video again. So hopefully this is not gonna happen again. Also, today I'm testing my new equipment that just arrived, so I'm actually directing a video while I'm recording it, and there is not going to be any editing, so maybe video is not going to be the best. Uh, but, you know, I'll do my best, and from next video I actually might do a bit of a video editing. Now, let's play a video that I told you in the background while I do a little bit of a commentary and uh, share with you some some more info. So yeah, as I said, Maggie from Pure On, uh, so far, as far as I know, he's probably one of the best guys for batteries in Ireland. So if you need a battery refurbishment or you need to, to get a new battery rebuilt or whatever, you can definitely contact him. As I said, I will link it in the description down below. But uh, yeah, he was uh, contracted to do prob uh, those NAMI E batteries because this battery is 35 amp hours. It's not 32 standard one. It's kind of a custom made. And there was, as far as I know, seven scooters like this in Ireland. And if I'm not wrong, I think all of them got their BMSs replaced. Now, you heard me talking bad about Michael Shaw, about his bad work practice. Well, I have to admit here, like, you know, he did send new BMSs free of charge and he was supposed to cover replacing those BMSs. Well, he did cover uh, other BMS replacements as far as I know. But for this one, in my case, I decided to cover that expense myself. So I, I paid for, for this job to be done, but I also wanted to make a video of the battery, how the battery looks inside, uh, because I was told already by Maggie that there are some potential uh, problems with the battery, that there are some things that are just not acceptable on any battery, and especially not on a battery with, you know, with a scooter with this price tag. So, uh, yeah, uh, I told him like, yeah, that's no problem. Uh, I got a new BMS and after I got a new BMS, I actually decided, you know what, if I'm already replacing a BMS, let's put a smart BMS in there so that I can always just grab my phone, connect via Bluetooth. Yeah, he's pointing out here where's actual problem but he's going to remove that tape and then uh, show actually uh, show actually problem so I told him like you know yeah you know let's put a smart BMS in there so I can grab my phone connect via Bluetooth check my cells check temperatures <coughs> sorry and also with the smart BMS one cool thing that I got is actually to uh, disable discharge on a, on a BMS, so that way technically I immobilize my scooter, so if someone even wants to steal it, he can't even turn it on. And that's one of the things that I actually prefer with smart BMSs, and if I can get uh, one that can fit in without any 
modifications on the battery that can fit in the same place where the original BMS is, why not, you know? So yeah, I got the BMS, I covered that replacement and so far so good, it's working perfectly fine. As I said, like the Michael Shah's approach to the problem with the uh, stem column is really bad. His approach to this problem was much better. But as far as I heard, there was a bit of a fight with him as well. So yeah, we are now getting to the point where almost all tape is removed and we're going to now have a bit of better close up shot of the issue. Well, not the issue, but something that's like just not acceptable uh, on any better and could have been done much better. So you see here that, you know, wires are just in a, in a too tight space. If there was no space to put two wires one over another, then it shouldn't be done like that because with the movement that's made in a, like no battery is, you know, perfectly solid. Things can always move around in there and that insulation can get damaged, can just from rubbering one wire against another wire, it can wear out and shorten the battery. Now, is that the case with your battery? I really don't know. I know that from all those seven scooters that had those batteries, all of them had the same issue and the uh, brilliant thing is like, you know, when Maggie was opening it and inspected, he actually in the same price tag, he did all that. So he did a rewire, replaced the BMS and well, at least I personally feel now much, much safer with, with my Nami scooter riding it and actually I'm taking it out for a spin tomorrow. So yeah, that's all regarding this part. Uh, as I said, Chris is probably coming over next week. So we're going to do again video about NAMI uh, stem column uh, problems. In the meantime, I also, you know, as I said, I got this new camera uh, and I have a new setup. So uh, I have already a couple of people that are coming over that are going to be chatting with me in the studio or sharing some of their knowledge, some of their experiences, their stories or whatever. We also have now a place to park a scooter to do to show you some things on a scooter, uh, do some kind of an indoor review. If I need to focus on the scooter, I can do that as well. Also, if I need to show you some scooter part or whatever, now I have this setup here. And well, if I want to discuss about the weather outside that it's mostly cloudy and rainy, I can do that as well. But yeah, main focus is of, of course going to be on, on scooters. I know that the image is not the best. I still need to get more lights in to get everything properly in place. I still have my uh, Sony camera there uh, ready on a tripod that's going to be for some other shots. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing my best to bring you as much as possible quantity content here, uh, quality content. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's not going to be perfect. I'm still learning uh, about video editing. I'm trying different things. All the equipment that I'm using is going to be, you know, linked in the description down below. If you buy any of the equipment, it's not going to cost you any more. But since I, those will be affiliate links, it's going to help uh, our channel. Also, every like, share, comment, and even every subscription is going to help us to grow faster and bring you more content like that. So I really highly appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it for this episode. I will be back with you pretty soon making new new videos. Till then, you know, you know, stay safe out there and respect other road users. Thank you and bye bye.